Hi, this is George Cow, and I want to show you how I make social media images. So these are images with a message on it so that it can convey uh, a message when on picture heavy platforms such as Instagram. And it also is great for Twitter. And you could even do this on LinkedIn or, or Facebook as well. So the first thing I do is go to an image website to download a nice image that would convey uh, the kind of emotion that I want for for a message. So let's say that I wanted to talk about uh, the power of purpose or, you know, uh, focusing on our purpose in our everyday work. Then I go to unsplash.com. That's usually where I download images. And uh, you could either search for an idea right there in the center. Um, and by the way, if you don't know what to search for, they give you a couple of trending searches you can click on to send to see what's what's trending right now. Or you can simply go and scroll. Uh, this this top part, a lot of people don't know, is scrollable. So just make sure you scroll on the top and just kind of see, well, spirituality. Okay, let's try that. So we'll click on that. And then we'll um, find something that, and I just want to show that, you know, the the type of image is important is it uh, is it a long image like more of a portrait style this is a portrait type or is it more of a landscape image depends on what you're creating for so if you're doing instagram instagram is really a square right so a portrait any of these could work for instagram um you know but if you're doing like a facebook cover then you want to look for a more of a landscape, longer rather, or sorry, wider rather than, than than taller type of image. Okay, so if we're talking about purpose. Let's say, um, I don't know. We're just going to scroll through and find something that could work uh, for. Uh, I'm going to particularly look at Instagram here. Okay, well, this person looks like they're they're meditative and, th and thinking. So what we do is when we find an image, you go ahead and click on it, and then you click download. Okay, now uh, it's nice to be able to give credit where it's due. So if you're posting on Instagram, you'll want to just mention uh, mention this in one of the comments. If you're, you know, Facebook, wherever you're putting it, try to mention the person's name and unsplash in the comments. Okay, so now the the image is now there on my desktop, and let's now go to Canva. So Canva is a free uh, design tool, and it's uh, it's it's can do a lot, but it can also be used very simply. To create social media images, so log into Canva, click on Create a Design, and you can see here that they've already given you a nice sort of, um, uh, you know, you can just simply click on this one to start creating an Instagram post, or click on this one to create a Facebook cover image. Uh, I'm going to create an Instagram post right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, and once that is loaded. What I want to do is I want to upload my background image. Okay, so uh, what I do is on the left hand side, I click on uploads. That's where I go. And then I click upload an image. And then I select the one that is um, that I've just brought over from Unsplash. And uh, there you go. So once that's one, once it's uploaded, I click on it to fill it into the canvas here. All right. And uh, let me just move my thing over here. Oh, well, I'll just keep it here for now. I'll make it a little smaller so you can see better. Okay, so once it's on the canvas, I want to fill the whole canvas so that the image doesn't have any white space on the... And the nice thing is when you click and drag, Canva is nice because it'll tell you if you're centered vertically or horizontally. You see these purple lines, right? So I, I, let me go and fill this whole thing up by, by basically dragging the, the sides and the top. So I'm going to drag the sides and as you can see I'm dragging the sides it's automatically cropping the image so that it fits where I want it to fit so there we go blah 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 like that okay and I also want to well, I also want to um, fill up the top here okay so I just want to fill up it just get rid of the white space and then the next thing I do is I go to elements because if I put words on here it's going to clash right so let's just try try this I'm gonna click on text I click on add a heading that's um Oh, I don't know why this is so small. Let me try this again. Add a heading. It should be larger. Well, anyway, I can always adjust the um, the font size up here. So I'm just going to say, work daily on your purpose. Keep returning 
to your focus again and again. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> just making something up here. And you could see that, uh, and I could you could see that the image, the words are going to clash on the image. It's going to be hard to hard to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on this. I'm just the way you click and drag an element is you have to move your mouse over the the one of the edges, one of the sides, and then find the sides when it becomes a cross. Then when it becomes a cross, you can you can click and drag it. So I'm going to click and drag this over to the side. And what I'll do now is I'll click on elements here. And I, I simply like using either a square or a circle, but uh, if you look at the shapes, you can click on all and you can see all kinds of shapes that you could add. But I'm just going to add a, a square with a nice um, round, uh, round edge. And I'll just go ahead and click on that. It's free, like you can see here. Canva does have some paid elements, but I'm using the, the free stuff for now. I'll click on that. And they put the element in here. Now, it's covering up the image, so it doesn't look very good. So what I do is I click on this transparency tool up here. I click on that. And then I will drag the transparency so that I can still see part of the image. But then I'll, I'll be able to see my words more easily. Okay, so I'm going to drag the words now. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I don't want to cover up the person's face so much. So, um, well, I don't know. Just for the sake of ease right now, I'm just going to go ahead and cover up the person's face. Okay, I'm going to drag, I'm going to find the, the edge. Sometimes it's tricky to find the edge. Oh, one thing that's helpful is if I click on this and I click on position, I put the element backward a little bit here. Okay, did I do that? Okay, now if I, now it's easier to select the, the, um, the, 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 the word element. Now the word element is in front of the, the, uh, this, the square thing here. Whoops, let me try that again. Move it. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to center it. And I'm going to make the words larger, so 50, something like that. And I'm going to expand the, uh, where the size of the words. And it's still hard to read, right? So uh, what I might do is I might just select a whole thing and make the words maybe white instead, a little bit easier to read. Okay, now um, it doesn't look great, but you know what? You, you, can, you can find a better image, and you can change the font color, and you can even change the element color. The element color right now is gray. So, you know, you could try a different different color. It's a little bit lighter or blue or whatever, whatever you want, right? Purple, whatever. And then um, and then you can also make the words bolded. You can change the font type. There's like dozens and dozens of font types here. Whatever you want, they, they probably have. And um, and then what I like to do is I like to, and this is, again, I'm not, I have, I'm doing this in real time, so I don't have time right now to make it look pretty, but let me just make it a little bit, a little bit uh, nicer looking. Well, I don't know, uh, maybe a little bit heavier, so it's easier to see. Anyway, this is, this is not the perfect image, but you get, you get the idea, you can play around with it. And then um, what I also like to do is put a, put my website, so add a, add a subheading. Okay, that's really small, but, um, but I, I will change, I'll make sure it's centered, right? And then I can change the font size to 30, maybe. Uh, make it wider a little bit. Again, move it so that it's more centered. There we go. And you know, I could change it to white so it's more clear. And then here's, I can do, you know, whatever, georgecow.com, right? Just as an example. So after I, if I'm finished with that, then I simply click download and keep on PNG, click download. And that's it. So I literally, in real time, without really having a thought about this, I designed uh, a social media image for you, you know, right, right on screen. And this is what it looks like. You know, um, I don't know if you can see this. Let me, uh, let me open this in here. So yeah, you can, you can see this is what it looks like. I can upload it. Uh, now again, I probably, maybe, maybe choosing a, uh, a circle element would, would be prettier, would look better. But you can, again, play with different elements here to make it however you like. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully that inspires you. And again, you could do a Facebook cover image like this too. You know, Facebook, um, click create a design, click Facebook cover image and kind of go to town with that, making your own uh, version of your Facebook cover. So, and they have kind of give you, they give you some ideas to start with if you like. All right, any questions, comment below and um, have fun.